Welcome back, as always, be sure to leave a comment if you have anything to add to this video, if you have any comments about the channel in general, or if you have any uh, topics for a future video you want me to make, let me know down in the comments. Also, be sure to check my other channel, YC Games, and before I get into it, I just kind of want to explain what this video is going to be. So, I will probably be referring to it as the PS5 or the PlayStation 5 throughout the video, but this is really what I want for the next generation of consoles, because, you know, we get a lot more hints and teases at what that might be, uh, a lot of leaked things. So, this video is going to kind of be my wish list. Now, a lot of it is completely uh, unrealistic, and I'm aware of that, and I'll kind of mention that uh, when I, you know, get to those. But a lot of these are actually very practical, so it's, it's a wish list. You know, it's, it's what I want, and I'm sure a lot of you guys agree with me on a lot of these things. But if there's anything I missed, anything you say no, that's stupid, why would I want that? Let me know in the comments, see what you guys think. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm going to start with cross-platform multiplayer. Now this is something completely realistic because we're already seeing it implemented and I realize this isn't so much like a technical thing, it's more of a companies playing nice with each other thing that's been the issue up to this point and I realize that Sony's kind of been the big pushback, at least recently they have been. Uh, so it's good to see them finally open their doors and say, okay, cross-platform play, alright, we're cool with it now, X play with Xbox, play with PC, we're cool with it, and that's great. Now I'm adding to to this list because I hope that will continue onto the next generation. Because who knows, PS5 and Xbox, whatever comes out, they might be like, eh, you know what? I don't know if I want cross-platform play anymore. Let, let's stick it to just just we have our multiplayer. You guys have your multiplayer. I, I can't see them doing this. It'd just be a stupid mistake for them to make, especially if. That, you know, that, that should be something they should be advertising the PS5, like, yeah, full cross-platform play, you know, play online with your friends. Because that's really all it is, that's really the biggest thing separating these, uh, consoles. Now, like, between the Xbox One and the PS4, I want the PS4, uh, because that's why I had a lot of friends playing on. Problem is, I do have friends playing Xbox too, and that's an issue, because I like to play with them sometimes, but I can't, because, you know, PS4. And a lot of people, just buy one console, you're kind of stuck with that, and it just really sucks that you can only play with certain friends depending on who has what console. And even if, because for instance, I do actually have an Xbox One, I got one really cheap second hand, so I could play with my friends on Xbox, all my accounts are reset. Like, I play Rainbow on Xbox, and I hate doing it because I have, I think, two DLC operators, which, is it a game, is it like a game-breaking deal-breaker? No, no, no. I'll still play, but I prefer to play on PlayStation if I had the option. So, next generation, cross-platform play, it has to happen. I don't know why it wouldn't. Now, with the initial leaks and rumors of the PS5, it was uh, hinted at possibly backwards compatibility all the way to the PS1. And don't get me wrong, that'd be great, but it kind of sounds more recently now that that's not way as easy as I hoped it would be, so that's a bit of a stretch to ask for, but honestly, I want at the very least, and it's definitely possible, there's really no reason for not to be very least backwards compatible with the PS4. You know, I want to log in with my account, and I want access to all of my PS4 games that I have downloaded, like digitally bought, and I want to be able to put in a PS4 disc, and it'll be able to work just fine. And that is definitely not too much to ask. A little bit more to ask would be nice for at least the PS3 and hopefully even the PS2. Uh, and obviously if we go back that far, hopefully it'll just go with the PS1 as well. But I'm not really in the know about how all that works. But I'm sure it's complicated as hell because, you know, technology from that far back, I'm sure is nowhere near the kind of state we're at today. So... It's a big ass to ask for uh, uh, PS2 even. So, hopefully, PS3, definitely PS4 at the bare minimum. And who knows, hopefully PS1, PS2 if they can figure it out. But I think it's not unrealistic to ask for PS4 backwards compatibility. Now this kind of goes along the same lines as the backwards compatibility thing. But it'd be nice to have a smooth transition between, you know, upgrading from PS4 to PS5 or whatever, yeah, just buying a PS4, or, excuse me, buying a PS5, 
should be easy. You buy it, you log in with your same account, or even, and this is actually the other thing I kind of hope, you can like change accounts, but still link it with an old account. Because let's just say, for instance, an uh, example for me, when I upgrade from the PS3 to the PS4, I use a different email because I didn't use my old email very much. You know, I, I changed my email between the time of the two generations. So, in reality, between the PS3 and the PS4, they're two completely different accounts. Which, because there's no backwards compatibility, you know, that, that doesn't bother me. I, I really don't care that much that, alright, they're on different emails or completely different accounts. Whatever. I didn't get to use my same name, but that's fine. I hate my name anyway. So, th that was fine for me. What I hope, though, with the PS4 is that they will, or, excuse me, the PS5, is that I can, because I'll probably keep my same email, because now I use it, I still use the same one I use for PS4. So I can just log in with my email, have the same account, have all my stuff, you know, carry over my username, uh, hopefully all my trophy data, and more, most importantly, the backwards compatibility thing, I can just go to the store, go to the library, and just re-download all my PS4 games I want to re-download. Or, you know, put in the disc and it'll work fine with the disc. That's something about smooth transition. But as far as the email goes, like, if, let's say you want to change accounts, change emails. I wish you could say, like, alright, I want to log in with this email, but I want to not really make that the account email. It's a bit more confusing to understand, I guess, but just change email without really changing the account. Because a lot is tied to your account, and keeping old passwords for old emails you really don't use, it's just kind of a pain. Um, I guess I don't even know, you might be able to do that with the PS4 right now. Maybe I'll change emails. I'm not sure, but I hope for PS5 they can make that a smooth transition. One of the biggest complaints I have with the PS4, like as far as the system's concerned, is its menus. And it actually has gotten better over the past couple of years, but holy cow, when I first got my PS4, and I didn't get it at launch. Like when I got it, like maybe a year after it was released, I don't even remember at this point, it's so long ago. But when I got my PS4, holy cow, the menus were just god-awful to navigate. And it's gotten better with uh, the use of folders and, like, the quick menu they've added. Um, those are all good. But, oh my god, for that main menu, it, it's, it's awful. Like, I understand the idea behind it. That, okay, whatever games you use more frequently, they're going to be at the front. So whatever game you use last, it's, it's right there at the front. So you can use it right away. But then you have to scroll endlessly to find any other game. And if you've played, you know, if you're between a bunch of different games, you play like five different games at once, well then you gotta go to your library and find that game to start playing it again. Which, it's a bad system. And like I said, once they had the folders, you know, I put all my games in the folders between like what I have downloaded, what I have disc, what I play by myself, uh, the VR games. Like, I, I have folders and that works a lot better, but it's still not ideal. It's really not that practical of a system. So that's a big hope for the PS5 is actual practical menus. Now, how they could set it up, I don't know. I'm not a design guy, <laughs> but it's got to be something better than this. The quick menu, though, I like the use of the quick menu. Now, clearly, they kind of sold from the Xbox One because that's how the Xbox One works, their menus. But I do like the quick menu. I like, you know, holding the PS button. You got that quick menu. You can, you know, change music, check who's in the party, check what friends are online. Uh, you know, there's a lot of useful stuff there, and I like that. They should keep something like that, but make it faster, I guess. Because, I don't know if it's just me, because I, I do have a PS4, I don't have a PS4 Pro, but it's a little bit laggy at times. And even worse, the main menu is laggy at times. Like, I'll push the PS button, even on accident. Like, I'll be in the middle of a game, I'll graze the PS button, and I'll go back to the main menu, and it will, like, freeze for a little bit. And it'll take me a while to get back to my game. If I'm playing, like, you know, like a tactical game, like, if I'm playing, uh, you know, some multiplayer online game that requires split-second timing, uh, you know, I'm out for a good 15, 20 seconds to load sometimes, which sounds like a stupid thing to ask, like, oh, it's only 15 seconds. But in these games, those 15 seconds are life or death sometimes. So, you know, make those menus quicker and actually efficient. Demons are getting bolder. Police in the streets now. now, as far as system sellers, this can be either like the least important thing on this list, or possibly the most important, depending on the kind of person you're selling to. Because you know, especially with the whole, uh, if they do go with uh, cross-platform play, 
it is available like you know multiplayer you can play with xbox guys you can play with pc guys that's usually the biggest driving force i feel to sell a console is what your friends play you know you want to be on the same system that all your friends are playing so if that's no longer an issue if we're going with you know cross-platform play then really all comes down to what games you got what exclusives do you have or even not necessarily what exclusives but what games do you have uh the marketing rights for because i'll be honest a lot of people aren't very informed if you're you know not constantly looking at trailers you know seeing okay what, what's coming for what kind of thing a lot of times if a trailer says you know at the end of a trailer it says ps4 or it says the xbox one or whatever sometimes you'll think oh it must be an exclusive for that console so marketing rights are important and even just not necessarily the marketing rights just having the rights to show okay here's the ps5 and here's the games they're gonna be launching for shortly afterwards or you know day one that's very important to, to have those rights to see what games you can play day one now the ps4 knocked it out of the park with exclusives this generation you know sony has really outdone themselves as far as exclusives go and if they can, get, can keep that rolling, there's a lot of potential sequels that should be coming out around PS5's launch title. So if they can, even if they do a dual launch, like, you know, on PS4 or PS5, but obviously upgrade graphics, upgrade this, this, and that on PS5, you're going to have a lot more people pushing for the PS5. You know, if you include, um, you know, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, God of War 2, even a Spider-Man that was on the PS4, you know, this, this program I'm playing right now, the sequel to that, if that's a launch title, um, even Last of Us Part 2, you know, that's coming out the very tail end of PS4, it's basically guaranteed they're gonna have a, uh, same thing to do with The Last of Us Part 1, is a remaster for the next console, so, with all those games and all those just amazing franchises under their belt, it, they really should nail out of the park again, now, granted, if these games are ready for the launch title. And that's why I kind of say it's a wish list, because obviously I really want a God of War 2 right now. I really want a Spider-Man 2 right now. I would love a Horizon Zero Dawn 2 right now. And a lot of these are sequels. There's still a lot of um, good studios that Sony has that they haven't announced games yet. Who knows? We might be getting quite a bit of original IPs day one. And that might be a little more on the uh, wish side of these... of things but definitely seeing like god of war 2 as a launch title that's not out of the question uh, horizon zero dawn 2 that's not necessarily out of the question either it's been a while since those games have come out and who knows what they're actually working on how far in development they are but it's definitely possible that that's what i'm kind of trying to say here that about does it for this one guys um honestly pretty much everything i mentioned is really nothing's out of the question everything is possible you know a couple things a little more wishy than others but the way this is going the way next console generation is going to go if it is potentially the last console generation like this one was supposed to be you know there's a lot they gotta do to future proof it and obviously i didn't really go into specs at this point because the next console the obvious is going to have better specs you know the best great lace and grace they can have while still affording it and making a decently priced console um that's also why i didn't go into price points or anything because i'm really expecting a 500 hundred dollar console like i've come to terms with that i've saved up for it um i can wish for it being only like 200 bucks but in reality if i want it to be everything i hope it is i'm okay with paying 500 bucks but yeah that about does it um i, I play spider-man uh for this footage because i really know what else to play and I just kind of saw it sitting there on my list of games still so download. I'm like, hey, I haven't played that in a while. Let's, let's record that for a little bit. So that's kind of the explanation behind that. Um, yeah, as always, if you have anything to add to this discussion, like if there's anything I missed that you wish, if there's anything I said that you're like, no, that's dumb, why would you, like, that's just ridiculous, why would you say that? Let me know down in the comments, you know, agree, disagree, whatever, I want to know. And I do thank you for everyone that does uh, comment down there, you know, that's the reason we're making these videos, is to have comments, you know, agree, disagree, whatever. I want to hear these things, so thank you for you guys that actually do that. And yeah, that about does it. Uh, see you on the next one. Uh, remember, the world doesn't know you anything, but keep your stick on the ice. We're all in this together. Thanks for watching.